All right, I thought I'd wait for the saw to finish. Oh. So you can tell they're still working on the house, but I'm actually on the second floor of the Grand Shores Greenhouse. You can see the still some bracing here. Bathroom here, a little bit of a lounge slash hallway. Back bedroom here. And they're actually getting the roof back in today. We're doing that zip system on the roof line, but it doesn't have that foam, the foam insulation on the back because that will compress down. So just the, the air barrier. I did want to show you one little detail here that's interesting in terms of green building. Notice that here on the inside, we have our roof rafter, and then we have this piece of wood, this two by six scabbed on beside it. It's called the scabbed rafter. So what that means is, I'll show you on the outside here, I'm going to step out on the roof. We only have one rafter outside. It's because our main roof rafter actually stopped inside our zip. And then we have the rafter detail that's going to be showing through the edge of the house on the outside. So that one two by six. And that's going to allow us to reduce the thermal bridging like we're doing with our foam. Yeah on the inside versus allowing this big two by eight to go through the foam here you can see on this side how it stops against the foam. Of course this whole cavity all the way to the roof line is going to be filled with spray foam that'll bring our thermal envelope up into the roof line there not at the attic level. So that's just one little detail on the house that's going to help us, again, keep the outside out and the inside in by reducing how much energy is flowing through the wood itself. That's called thermal bridging. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.